The reason for collaring the dogs is to aid our monitoring of the pack because we're actually able to physically follow the dogs. We can follow them on a day-to-day -day basis. So we can record their movements, their territory size, where they're going. We can look at their hunting success more accurately. And that builds up a picture of the size of territory that they need. There's an element of risk every time you dart an animal. The dart rifles are very accurate, but still, they're, they're light, so they can be blown off course, and then you can cause an injury. But these are very stable drugs, and you generally you don't get any adverse reaction. You want to be close to them. You can shoot from further, but 10 to 15 metres is uh, ideal. The main thing is not to push it, not to pressurise them. So it's all quite safe, so long as you just take your time and you're patient and wait for the best opportunity. The dogs are relaxed. Um, they basically don't actually know what happened. It's almost like something, maybe they got a bee sting or whatever. The dart drops out very quickly. After three to five minutes, the, the drug mix takes effect and then uh, they basically go to sleep. The pulse, temperature, breathing, everything stays very strong. It's a very light anesthesia, so we keep very quiet around them, cover their eyes, lock their ears, always put water on, makes them feel comfortable, helps keep the temperature down. Just keep the disturbance to a minimum. There's, a, there's an amnesia effect as well. So when she wakes up, she'll really be wondering what happened. So it, it's as least invasive as we can possibly make it. And the, the dog's comfort and well-being is the absolute priority. We've collared one of the adult females in the pack. So with having the collar on allows us to, in terms of where they're moving, how they're using the habitat, different vegetation types that they may prefer to hunt in, habitat that they select in their den sites each year, prey selection, encounters with other packs, encounters with lions, encounters with hyenas. It really builds up our knowledge an understanding of this population that we can then use to compare with other populations and the overall build a picture in terms of then future actions that may be required for conservation of the species. <laughs>